What's up everyone, in this video I have a huge unboxing from the cubicle. So as you can see I got 4 premium cubes from the cubicle, we got Angstrom, Mystic, Pro Shop and Samaritas. Now these are all Mei Long and Dewey 3s from MoYu. Obviously before we start, huge thanks to the cubicle for sending these puzzles out to me. And make sure to use code CM to get 5% off your order at the cubicle. So why did I get these cubes? So first off, I heard so many good things about the Mei Long, which is a budget 2x3 from MoYu. And I heard it's super good for its price, so I wanted to try it out. Secondly, I wanted to do a video comparing these four brands from the Cubicle. I know there's also Max and Cubicle Custom, but these are the four main brands that the Cubicle does have. So I don't want to compare these in a future video, but for now, let's unbox these puzzles separately. So these are all pretty inexpensive puzzles. I think the 3x3 is like $13, and then these puzzles are around $15 or so. These boxes are very tough to open. Alright, so each one we get a card, which is cool. And then we also get a stand, which I have actually a ton of now. So let's start off with the Pro Shop Meilong. This is the cheapest one. This should be the most regular setup, but I heard still it's really good. So let's see how this performs. So already from feeling the outside, it feels quite weird. It's not only from the Pro Shop, but from MoYu, I guess, because the plastic itself is quite interesting. You can kind of hear it, but let's just do first turns. Wow. You guys hear that? That's quiet. It's very squishy and quiet. I really enjoy the feel. And it feels pretty solid, honestly. And here's my WRM. This is my main. Obviously, this is more expensive. This is like $40, which is like, I think, what, six, seven times the price? So, yeah. This thing is definitely pretty solid, but for a $5 puzzle that's set up, obviously, this thing still feels extremely good. It really does feel like a much higher quality puzzle. It feels very smooth. I'm not sure that's the Pro Shop setup. I'm sure that contributes to it, but I feel like the cube itself is also quite good. Magnet change is also quite nice, similar to the WRM. I should expect all of the magnets to be the same in all these puzzles because the base puzzle is the same. Um, let's check out corn cutting a little bit here. Pretty solid, not the best here. It's taking a bit of effort when you get pretty far. And reverse isn't looking the greatest here but for a budget cube this is definitely very good so wow very nice puzzle while this is very smooth I feel like the speed is also very very nice on this puzzle it's very controllable out of the box and I think it's really good to use like right out of the box as well because it's not very slow it's not very fast it's very controllable and I could use this right now and get pretty average times on it I really think it's good enough for really to be a main even out of the box which is super cool Alright, so for the rest of these, I can go in order of which they came out, I think. I think Angstrom came out first. Then was Mystic, then Slayer Toss. Pretty sure that's the right order. So let's go to Angstrom next. I think a lot of Angstrom cubes come off DNM, or they used to, but this one I don't think comes with it. But Angstrom does work pretty well with DNM, from my experience. Also, from my experience, Angstrom cubes tend to be pretty fast, which is something I do always enjoy. So let's see how this Angstrom Meilong M performs. So outside field is the exact same. Got a nice Angstrom logo here. Yes, this is definitely faster. Wow. Okay, so it has less of a smooth feel and more of a really fast feel. Wow, interesting. So yeah, just to show a quick comparison, here's the Pro Shop. And then here's the Angstrom. So that's pretty much the exact same force and this thing goes way further. So. Angstrom, yes, of course, a very fast setup. Its feel, I think, is not as quiet as the Pro Shop. The Pro Shop is a bit quieter, at least out of the box. But for speed, definitely the Angstrom is much faster. Now, I'm curious about the tensions, if they're going to be the same. And I'm assuming they'll probably be pretty similar. And yes, that is true. The tensions are about the same. Let's quickly test the corner cutting, which should be, I guess, the same. And I guess it is. I think these cubes could be loosened a tiny bit to make it corner cutting a bit better since the magnets already keep it in place pretty well. But I think even out of the box, again, this is very usable. It's not too slow, not too fast. Even though it is on the faster side, I can still definitely use this. So yeah, Angstrom compared to the Pro Shop, it's much faster. It feels a bit different as you can hear, but also very solid and great out of the box. All right, next we have Mystic and then we have Slurtos for the end. So Mystic is 
Actually, what I have for my WRM, my WRM is actually Mystic setup, but it kind of wore off, so it's going to be nice to relive this Mystic feeling again with this puzzle. So, from my experience, my Mystic WRM, at least, it was actually quite slow in the beginning, and when you work it in, it becomes more controllable, but it never really becomes too fast. So, I'm expecting this puzzle to be maybe a bit slower than Photoshop, or at least slower than the Ancient puzzle. Also, hopefully this puzzle is going to be super smooth because my Mystic WRM was super smooth out of the box. So we'll see how this performs now. Okay, first off, its speed seems pretty average, kind of like the the Pro Shop, but it feels already much different. It has a very lower pitch noise, I feel like, and a very smooth feeling. Very different from the Pro Shop. Here's the Pro Shop one, very smooth as well. But you can hear like a higher pitch sound and a higher pitch smooth sound, I guess. And then the Mystic one is lower pitch and you can kind of hear here. Which is very interesting. So this one is not too fast out of the box, not too slow. I'm noticing that as I break in more though, it is becoming much faster. So this puzzle seems to break in quite quickly, which is cool. Of course, corner cutting should be about the same. I don't even need to test this. So conclusions for this puzzle, very smooth. It's also very quiet. I would describe it as kind of like a plush feeling. Very smooth and quiet. So that's what makes this puzzle stand out from the others, which I really do enjoy. All right, finally, we're gonna try out this Lertos Meilong M. Now, so Lertos is a brand I've never tried ever. I do have a Slurtos lubricant, which makes puzzles amazing, but I haven't tried an actual premium Slurtos puzzle. So that's why I'm so excited for this puzzle, and I guess I saved it for last as well. So we'll be seeing how this performs. Now for me, Slurtos makes puzzles pretty fast and gives them a very unique smooth feeling as well. So this one, I'm going to guess is going to be faster than the ancient one, and it's going to have an even quieter feeling. That is my best guess. So we'll see how this performs. All right, the Slurtos Meilong M. Interesting, it's actually much slower than the Angstrom one. I did not expect that. But the smooth feeling is there. You can hear it. Now I know I mentioned that the Mystic Cube was quite quiet, but this one I feel like it's even quieter. It's very, very silent and it's so nice to hear. I don't know why, but I really feel like I enjoy the feeling of this corner cutting. Like, it has a really nice feeling when it those little slight corner cuts. Like it's very subtle, and I think that's more the main long than the Slurtos setup because all of these puzzles really feel like that. But that just shows how great the design of this main long is that you get such a great puzzle for such a cheap price, and with the setup you get an even better puzzle for also a cheap price. So I guess some final thoughts I have with all of these puzzles and my defined characteristics for each of them. First off, the Pro Shop one, it's a bit slower, but this one is more of a balanced puzzle. It's on the cheaper side, which is going to be great for a lot of people. But it's gonna be a slower cube. It's gonna be slower, but it's still gonna be very good performing. For the Angstrom cubes, I think of them as very fast. It's going to have a really nice smooth feel still, but it's going to have the faster speed. And if you have DNM37, which works very well with this lubricant or this cube, you can get even faster speeds, which is really nice for usually big cubes, but if you like faster cubes on TV3, this works as well here. For the Mystic one, I really enjoy its feel. It's gonna be very soft and plush. It's not as fast as the Angstrom one, but it still has this really nice sound to it, and it's quite quiet, which I really do enjoy. Lastly, for the slower toss one, this is one of the slower ones, I guess as slow as the Pro Shop, if even slower, but even so, this is probably the quietest one, and the most, like the best feeling one, because it really has a really enjoyable feel, and very quiet feeling, even more so than the Mystic one. Finally, to end this video off, I want to rank these puzzles on some aspects. Firstly, on speed, I think Pro Shop's the slowest, then Slurtos, then Mystic, then of course Angstrom, the faster one. Now for smoothness, I think it's going to be Slurtos first, then Mystic, then maybe Pro Shop, then Angstrom. As for my favorites as of right now, and what I'm more excited to test, probably the Slurtos one first because it's the quietest and also very controllable, then the Mystic for the same reason, and probably the Angstrom next, and then Pro Shop last. So that's probably my ranking from first to last, for which I'm more excited for. So I didn't know breaking solves for any of these puzzles, so I don't know too much about them yet, but I think if they break in more, I get to know more about the puzzles and more about the brands separately. So I think in the future, I'll be doing an update video about each of these brands, or maybe comparing them, or talking about the Meilong itself. But so far, all of these brands are super great, 
and I love this Meilong Dubai 3. This is so quiet and smooth and I think it's so great for this price. So yeah, that's it for this unboxing of these premium Meilong M's. Again, huge thanks to the Kipco for sending these puzzles out to me. Very appreciated. Make sure to look out for videos coming out on these puzzles very soon. And thank you for watching.